don't have much time to play, but I, um, huh. Interesting. Okay, I just picked up the DLC. I haven't beaten the game yet, but decided to pick up the DLC because I found it on a cheaper site, and so I'm like, why not? Um, that's cool. You have, like, two options on how to play. <laughs> Anyway, I would like to go and visit the Quantum Moon and kind of see what I can find out there. At the end of my last stream, I really tried to figure out how to get to that sixth location. But I think I'm missing something vital here, so I want to investigate it. that wanders if you recall the rule of quantum imaging you ever called it quantum entanglement and sixth location hmm the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole So that's what I figure out here. Find out how to get the shrine to the North Pole. The question is, where? Where's the moon? There it is. All right. get inside. This definitely blew my mind being able to just, you know, take a picture of the planet and then I can land on it. It's such a simple solution, but I, you know, would not have thought of it. So, I'm at different locations every time. The question is, how do I get my shrine to the North Pole to really allow me to explore it? on the same location. So, knowing that, there are some parts of it I think I know what I need to do. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, so I need the shrine to show up on this northern half here. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Let's 
let's uh, shut this. I, I'm not quite on the North Pole, but I'm almost there. Because if I were to guess, it's still going to be blocked because I'm not on the North Pole. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, alright, alright. We'll get there. I just need to find a closer location. Like, we'll check this out. What does Brittle Hollow have to show me? Okay, so I can get definitely get to the north part here. So I need it to be right there. Alright, I think this might be it. This should be what takes me there. In theory. Because we're on the North Pole. Alright. Fifth location, huh? Or sixth location? Freaking me out. Do I really want to reach the South Pole? Oh my gosh. No way. You're a Nomai. Solidum. Who are you? Explain stone. Pick up identify stone. Okay. Explain. Nothing. Explain. Oh, I see. Who am I? <laughs> this is a fun way to communicate. Imagine your purpose here is the same as mine. To learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Okay. Identify me. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Thank you. I like your three eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Okay. What about the quantum moon? This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing, yeah? Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon... Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Huh. Okay. Identify it. Or explain. Huh. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now. 
while uh, from this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics of the moon exhibits the characteristics the moon exhibits are also in, exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely to also quantum. Is it likely also quantum? Okay, makes sense. In fact, this moon is probably quantum oh, because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way, the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on the planets eventually became quantum too. That makes sense, yeah. Pick a view stone. Explain yourself. I on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us. As it carries us near to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from the side, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Wait. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Clan arrived in the star system before their birth. That we now call it home. Makes sense. Alright. What is the eye? We are orbiting the eye of the universe now. Although we cannot see it, only quantum moon's reflection of it. Oh, I see. Like how it, it looks around us, okay. Only quantum is, uh, the eye is older than the universe itself. My clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. All right. There's a fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits microscopic quantum behavior because of its approximate to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Well, I... Is that everything that you have to tell me? Sir, it's been a pleasure. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up. Wish me luck. What? 
Really? Okay, what if I don't take a picture of it? Sure. Um. That's cool. Where's my ship? Where's the shrine? I'm running out of time. I want to read the log. Here, I suppose I could just fly to the earth. I might die. The part of me wonders what if I'm here during the supernova. Center. Wait, wait, does it? Am I in the wrong spot? Darn it. I already got here once. 
Oops. <laughs> On accident. Ooh. still here? You are. I don't suppose it makes any sense to put two of these together, right? These are, are the two tenants to know my philosophy to seek out and to understand this our way of living. Guess I wasn't done yet, huh? Let's do It's my first time here too. Just keep looking for answers, I hope you find them. Yeah, me too. We don't have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Aww. I suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of conscious observer might be? I don't know. Imagine you've noticed the quantum of changes in appearance depending on how much location it currently is orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting giants deep than it does when orbiting hourglass twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms. The eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. Okay. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That being said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself. It is consciously observed. Hmm. What would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? That's what I wonder. Many of our clan have believed the eye is called to us for this I called to us for this particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was ma malevolent. I've lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. It's kind of morbid. A journey here to see the quantum is reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that it may be entirely that private. Wait, did you already say that? Did I do all combinations already? I did this, 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 okay. And then I did this. This, this, this. Right? Maybe I didn't do me in the moon. No, I did do me in the moon. Here. I feel like it's been 
22 minutes, right? Like, what does this do for me? Hmm. a photo of me, how does that work? Well, that was weird. Darn it, I did not mean to do that. Darn it. <laughs> I should have stuck with him. Well, I'm going to read the log real quick and then call it. I'm going to have a quick session. <laughs> My name is Solomon. Sol Solenem. 
Quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solonym wonders what wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Conscious observer. Solonym has a hypothesis that she, oh, she, may not be entirely alive. Okay, so I'm gonna rest. Maybe I should be there during the, uh, the actual supernova. the clock was a little bit faster. Okay, in about 15 minutes we'll head towards the quantum moon. That should be enough time, I think. I also need to let a lot of people know about the Nomaya Met. See if that changes anything. Jellyfish. Alright. Somebody's north. Nope, not, not where I need it to be. So slowly. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be helpful, actually. No. Now let's go back in.
Chest deep, I think, is pretty open, right? I should be able to. Yeah, up until the, the vortex that's up there. Crazy mechanically how this is done. It's such an impressive feat. I think the sun's just gonna kill us because it's clear that this is normal to like he's not in a loop. Sun exploding have any relation to any of this? Like, yeah, it's the end of its natural life cycle, but what does that mean for the eye? The time loop. <gasps> I knew I should have stayed here, right? What? I didn't want me here, did it? <gasps> what the heck? Well, this is just insane. <laughs> Here, I thought it was going to be a different result because it's like, oh, you know, the eye 
it's like it, it is a different result in a way. I don't know. Still need this at the interloper. Okay, well, I have to call it at that point. That was uh, that was great. Crazy. Well, till next time, I guess.